Benjamin Franklin enjoyed the company of another patriot, Thomas Jefferson from Virginia. Jefferson was often the youngest person in the room when the founders met in Philadelphia, whereas Franklin was often the oldest. Like George Washington, Thomas Jefferson was always ready to serve his country, but the place he most liked to be was at home with his family. When Thomas Jefferson was a young lawyer, he started building a house close to the farm where he grew up in Virginia. Built on a hill, he named it Monticello, which means little mountain in Italian. He worked on it for many years before, during, and after the war. Jefferson traveled in Europe and brought back many ideas from France and Italy. Because of Monticello and some other buildings he designed, Jefferson is called the father of American architecture. Architecture refers to the design of buildings or the way that buildings look. In fact, Jefferson, along with his slaves, was one of the people who worked on the design of Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. Like Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson liked to invent things. For his house, he invented a pulley system that opened doors and a mechanical clock that kept track of the days of the week. He also invented a dumb waiter, a shelf that his slaves could pile high with food dishes, raised from the kitchen downstairs up to the dining room, then lower back down with empty dishes when the meal was over. Thomas Jefferson was one of the most important writers in the colonies. Remember, he was the author of the Declaration of Independence. Because he wrote so many important papers and letters, he wanted to be able to make copies of them for himself. So Jefferson bought a copy machine from his friend, Charles Wilson Peel. It was one of the first copy machines ever made. As Jefferson wrote at his desk, a second pen was automatically writing the same thing beside him. This is a modern-day version of Jefferson's invention, and his would not have looked like this or used writing tools like the pencils in this image. So he could continue his work away from home, Jefferson invented a lap desk that he could carry with him on horseback that could hold all of his paperwork and office tools. This is similar to carrying a backpack or using a laptop computer. After the Constitutional Convention and the election of George Washington as the country's first president, Thomas Jefferson returned to Virginia to work on Monticello. When he was not at Monticello, often he was off representing his country, sharing his ideas both in America and in Europe. George Washington served as president of the United States for eight years, when he retired to Mount Vernon, another one of the founding fathers named John Adams took his place, becoming America's second president. Thomas Jefferson became John Adams' vice president. A vice president is someone who is second in command to the president. Four years later, Thomas Jefferson became our nation's third president. In the eight years that he was president, he did many things to help the young nation grow. One of the things that Thomas Jefferson believed in most was public education. He realized how fortunate he had been having the chance to attend excellent schools all his life, but he knew that not everybody could afford to do so. Perhaps Jefferson's greatest project was planning for a public college in his state of Virginia. A public school is one that is funded or paid for with the people's tax money. A college or university is a place to continue studying after high school. He designed the buildings, chose the subjects to be taught, and raised money to build the University of Virginia. The university was built on a friend's farm just down the hill from Monticello so that Jefferson could watch it being built. Thomas Jefferson died on the afternoon of July 4, 1826, just hours before the death of his friend John Adams. The second and third presidents of the United States of America died on the 50th anniversary of Independence Day. An anniversary is celebrated every year like your birthday. Your birthday is the anniversary of your birth. 
So Jefferson died 50 years to the day after the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Like George Washington and Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson is remembered in many ways today. Some of our nickels, or five-cent coins, have a picture of Jefferson on one side of them and a picture of a domed building on the other. Can you guess what building that is? Right, it's his beloved Monticello Plantation.